The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Why we should be excited about Scholar Rock's potential therapy known as SRK015. Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of the Morale Monologue. My name is Michael Morale. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Scholar Rock's potential therapy called SRK015 and why we as SMA patients should be excited about this possible therapy. Before I begin, please take a moment to listen to a word from our sponsor, then I'll come back and explain what all the excitement is about. Thank you. This vlog is made possible by a sponsorship from Genentech. Are you living with SMA or are you a caregiver for someone who is? A new treatment has just been FDA approved based on studies of different types of people living with SMA. Genentech extends a special thanks to all of the individuals, families, and healthcare providers who participated in the studies that led to making this new treatment option a reality. To learn more about this new treatment, visit approvedforsma.com. FDA grants rare pediatric disease designation to SRK015 for SMA. Before I begin, Please note that I'm reading from an article that was recently published on SMA News Today's website, and a link to this entire article can be found in the description of my video. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has granted the designation of rare pediatric disease to SRK015, an investigational treatment for spinal muscular atrophy, its developer, Scholar Rock, announced. This designation is given to therapies that are intended to treat serious or life-threatening disorders that affect fewer than 200,000 people in the U.S., mainly those younger than 18. This rare pediatric disease designation, along with the previously granted orphan drug designation, highlights the FDA's recognition of the unmet medical needs of patients with SMA, we continue to aim to establish SRK015 as the potential first muscle-directed therapy to address motor function deficits that persist despite the availability of SMN upregulators, Yang Chung, MD, Chief Medical Officer of Scholar Rock, said in a press release. SRK015 is a monoclonal antibody that selectively binds to the precursor or latent form of myostatin effectively preventing it from being converted into an active form in muscle tissues. Myostatin is a growth factor mainly produced by skeletal muscle cells to inhibit muscle growth. By preventing the information of the active form of myostatin instead of blocking its activity directly, SRK015 is expected to improve muscle strength in patients' motor function and cause fewer side effects compared to other myostatin inhibitors. A proof-of-concept Phase II clinical trial called TOPAS is currently assessing the safety and effectiveness of SRK015 in children and adults with SMA types 2 and 3. The study completed patient enrollment earlier this year, and Scholar Rock is planning to announce six-month interim data, including safety and effectiveness data, later this year. Top-line data from the entire one-year treatment period of the study is expected next year. During the study, participants were divided into three groups, those with SMA type 3 who were able to walk unaided, some of whom are receiving an approved SMA treatment and some of whom are not, patients with SMA type 2 or 3 who were not able to walk, who started receiving treatment after turning 5, and patients with SMA type 2 who started receiving treatment before age 5. All patients will receive intravenous or into the vein injections of SRK015 at a dose of 20 mg or 2 mg every 4 weeks, depending on the group they were placed in, for up to 1 year. The main goal of the study is to assess if SRK015 can lead to clinically meaningful outcomes in patients' motor functions. This will be determined based on the scores of several functional scales, including the revised Hammersmith scale and the Hammersmith Functional Motor Scale Extended, 
Additional study goals include assessing SRK015 safety and pharmacological properties. A preliminary analysis of the therapy's pharmacological profile based on data from 29 patients enrolled in the study showed that SRK015 interacted with the latent form of myostatin, increasing its levels up to 100 times in patients' blood. The analysis also showed that increases in the levels of latent myostatin observed in the four weeks following treatment in patients participating in topaz were similar to those reported in healthy volunteers participating in a previous phase one trial. We are encouraged by the progress of the Topaz Phase 2 trial and look forward to the interim readout next quarter that will provide important insights into the potential of SRK015 in patients with SMA, Chung said. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some information out of it that you can use as well. While SRK015 is still under development and going through trials, the excitement of a first-ever muscle-directed therapy could be in our not-so-distant future. As those of us with SMA News Today learn more, we'll be sure to bring you this information as quickly as possible. We at SMA News Today hope all of you have had a fantastic week, and I ask that you do something for yourself this upcoming week that will make you a better person. Until next time, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in a few weeks.